What is going on, you guys? I hope you're all doing good. And today I have an album review. So yeah, um, I'm going to be reviewing the new Die Art is Murder album titled Holy War. So yeah, um, I'm sure a lot of you know who Die Art is Murder is. They're a deathcore band from Australia. Um, and to be honest, um, yes, these guys are deathcore, but from them, I also hear, like, death metal. I, I hear death metal. So yes, yes, of course, I can hear the deathcore aspects of them, of course, um, but I, I hear a lot of death metal from these guys. To me, they're also death metal, and in a, in a way, and on this album, I think they showed quite a bit of aspects of some death metal in them. And yeah, on this album, I believe the first song they released was Lightbearer. I think it was. They released a music video for it. And to be honest, I actually thought that was a pretty good song. I really did. Um and uh I've listened to the album in its entirety now, and I can honestly say um I thought this was a good album. I did. And yeah, I'm just of course going to tell you why. Now, The Art is Murder, um, I guess they get somewhat kind of a bit of hate, you know? I don't know if it's just because they're classified as deathcore, or if it's just their musical style, probably their musical style playing, like, how they do it. Yes, they do have a little, quite a bit, um, I guess you can say a little bit of chugging in their guitars, but they don't, but they're not like one of those deathcore bands that just does non-stop chugging, 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 like a mirror or Attila. <laughs> like, yes, they do quite a bit of it, but they don't do just pretty much almost all chugging. Um, and yes, I do like the guitars on here, especially some of the solos. I think the solos are damn good. Um, the vocals. Um... For the most part, I think they're pretty good. I like how I really like his screams and his highs. And I think he has a good vocal range, too, to be honest. And, um... Dyer is Murdered. To be honest, they're actually one of my favorite, um, deathcore bands. And I guess you can say deathcore slash death metal. Because, like I said, to me, these guys also sound like death metal. And, yeah... And uh, and I just like this album. Um, the instrumentation, like the drumming, I think is good. The bass, and I already talked about the guitars. And that's all fine and well. Really, the only problem I have with this album, and really with this band in general, is that sometimes, just sometimes, they can sound, I guess you can say, a bit generic, just, I don't know, sometimes on this album, the guitars and bass, like, the chugging on here does sound a little bit too, like, eh, like, kind of out of place, um, but like I said, at least they don't do just pretty much almost all chugging on every song, and yeah, and my favorite songs on this album would probably have to be... Holy War, Light Bearer, um, Naked and Cold, which is the the last song on the album. Yeah, and before this album was released, Dire is Murder. Um, I guess you can say there was a bit of controversy with the album cover because the original album cover was depicting a child suicide bomber. It was basically a kid who was covered in blood and he uh he was wearing this white um cape or thing or whatever and he had bombs like literally bombs and dynamite attached to his stomach so
So, yeah, I can see why that would get people riled up. But, um, but they were actually told by these people who, that if they want them to sell their album in their store, they have to either change the album cover or, uh, or something else. Like, yeah, they have to, like, change the album cover and, or at least put that album, or at least put the album cover inside, like, the booklet and stuff. So, yeah, the album cover, like, it changed, but the original album cover with the kids showing the bonds and stuff, it's still in the album. It's, like, in the booklet and stuff. So, yeah. It's just that uh, now the album cover is just, it's the exact same kid. It's just, it's showing his face, and he's doing, like, this kind of deep stare thing on the cover. So, yeah. Um... Yeah. Um... I guess that's really all I got to say on this album. Um, sorry I wasn't too descriptive on this album review. It's just, I don't know. Um, it's just I haven't done too many album reviews this year. So, yeah, but I'll, uh, I've been doing a little bit more recently. So, yeah. But anyway, that's my thoughts on this album. Um, I would give this album probably about an 8.2 out of 10. So basically an 82 out of 100. So yeah, I just gave it like about an 80, an 8.2. An 8 so I thought it was a really good album. Um, if you disagree with me, that's totally fine. Uh, so yeah, so that's why I'm telling you guys to tell me your thoughts on the album. Um, in the comments below. Did you like it? Did you not? Tell me why. Um, yeah. And if you did like it, Tell me your favorite song off the album, and yeah, and tell me your favorite part if you did like it. So yeah, all right guys, thank you for watching. Keep it metal, and I will see you guys later.